So a couple of weeks ago, I made a video on how Microsoft is actually now trying to push this new version of Outlook to home users, but it actually now appears that business users such as Microsoft 365 users like myself, or even companies that manage devices via Intune are now having to find methods around to actually stop Microsoft forcing the new version of Outlook onto all their users' devices. Now, Microsoft has actually been quite sneaky about this. Now, you might have actually gone to use Microsoft Outlook and then suddenly realized that it's closed and it's come back with the new version of Outlook. Well, I'm gonna be actually showing you today's video how you can actually restore the old classic version of Outlook if that has happened and if it hasn't happened yet how you can actually block it from happening in the future. So just a quick introduction before we do go ahead my name is Matthew from Matthew's Tech Hub hope you're doing well and without further ado let's roll the intro and jump straight into the video. Okay, so as you can see, we're now back on our Windows 11 desktop. Now, this is going to be the first method that you want to use if you can still currently use your classic version of Outlook, but you don't want to be forced updated to the new version of Outlook. Now, what we need to first do, guys, is we need to jump into our classic Outlook. Now, once you jumped into classic Outlook, obviously you'll be brought to this screen here. You then need to just jump up to file in the top left-hand corner and then go to office account down in the bottom left. Now, please excuse the activation warning. This is because I've just only set this up just as a uh, demo for today's video. I do have a license and activate version of Outlook on my main computer, but this is the reason why it's just showing it's not activated. So just to give you guys clarification there. Now, what you're going to do is going to click on the update options just right here. And then just first make sure to check that your version of Office is actually currently up to the latest version. Once you've done that, it'll just click on that. A little box will appear and then it will begin updating. And then once it's updated or if it, if it does have an update it needs to do, it will then just quickly restart it and then bring you back into the classic version of Outlook again. Now, what we need to do in order to actually stop this from being forcibly updated to the new version of Outlook, we need to actually make some tweaks to the registry. So what you can do is to go down to the uh, minimize, well, if you actually close Outlook completely, so you've got nothing open. Now, something that I do highly recommend you do before we do get started is that you do actually take a backup of the registry. You can do this by jumping into the registry by going down to the search box and then simply just type in reg edit, like so, hit enter, and then it might ask you about the UAC, just click on yes. And then what you can then do is go to file in the top left hand corner and then just go to export. Now I do recommend that you do back up everything. So just maybe select the export range as all like this. And then you then back it up to an external USB or hard drive. The reason I say that is because if you do break and make a backup of this file to your local PC and you then can't boot into the device, it's then gonna be tricky to get that file back, obviously without using third party tools. So just make sure that you do back up using a external hard drive or USB. Now what we're going to do is simply just go down to the bottom click on our search box and we're just going to simply enter reg edit like this now just to clarify that you do actually need to be an administrator at this point if you do have another account on your pc that is an administrator you will need to just provide that login during the uac window that pops up in just a moment but if you are already an administrator obviously you can already go ahead and make these changes so just click on run as administrator right here on the right hand side and then just click on yes and again, that was the UAC window, and it will then be brought straight into your registry editor. Now, what you need to do in here is you can actually, if you want to actually go straight to this specific folder in the registry editor, I'll put on screen now the location. I'll also put it down in the description box down below, and you can actually copy that and then paste it into here, and that'll then take you straight to that folder. But if you want to do it manually, then just keep watching, and I'll now go through the list of folders that we need to go through to get to the place we need to be. So what we first need to first do, guys, is you need to actually jump into the HK current user folder, just right here on the top left-hand corner. Then we're going to jump into software and expand it right here. Then we're going to jump into Microsoft, scroll down to the O section. You'll then have Office, expand that one right here. And then the latest one, which is version 16. So open this one here. And then you're then going to go to Outlook, just right here. And you're then going to go into Preferences, which is this one right here. And you'll see that already we have quite a few things already in here. And as you can see as well, we've also got a folder for new Outlook. But don't worry about that. We're about to obviously uh, force Outlook to not be upgraded to that version. So once you're in here, you're going to simply right click, hover over new, and you're going to go to, to this D Word 32 bit value. Click on that, and you're simply going to enter following. So again, I'll put it straight on screen. So you're going to, it's going to be Use with a capital U, New with a capital N and then Outlook like this, and then simply hit enter. Now, again, obviously I'll put everything that I've mentioned in the description box down below. So if you want to just copy it and then paste it in, feel free to do that as well. Now, what you're going to do now, just double click on this key that you've created here. And as you can see by default, it is set as zero. Now, zero actually means it's not going to use the new version of Outlook. If you want to actually use the new version of Outlook or you want Windows to force you to use the new version of Outlook, then you can simply just change that to one. But I presume you're here because you don't want to use the new Outlook like many other people. So you're going to leave that as zero 
zero and hit OK. Now the next trick which you might want to do is if you are currently on Windows 11 23 H2 and you're not actually on the latest 24 H2 yet, now you'll probably notice that if you actually go to upgrade from 23 H2 to 24 H2 that you will actually be forced to use the new version of Outlook during the upgrade process. Now again this is another registry trick which will actually prevent that from happening if you are looking to do an in-place upgrade straight to 24 H2. So let me show you what I need to do now. So you now need to locate to the following key. So again computer, H key current user, then into software, policies, Microsoft, Office, 16, and then Outlook. And then once you're in Outlook, again, you might not have a folder for the following, which I don't, as you can see. We now need to create another folder, which is called preferences. So what we're now going to do is we simply right click, go to new, and then key, and you're going to simply just enter preferences, like so. Hit enter right here. And once you're in here, you can then just click on preferences. And as you can see on the right hand side, we've only just got nothing in here at the moment. So now you're going to do is simply right click, go to new and then D word 32 bit value. And you're going to create a key based on this following setting, which is called new outlook migration user setting. Can I hit enter? And um, actually again, we're going to leave that as zero, which is now telling windows that if you do upgrade from 23 H2 to 24 H2 via an in-place upgrade, you will not be forced onto the new version of outlook during the upgrade process. Now, just to show you that all of these instructions are actually on Microsoft's official page. So again, I'll put the link for this page down in the description box down below. But if we actually just scroll down on this website just a little bit down here, you'll see that under this section, which is just right here, it says policy, manage user setting for new Outlook automatic migration. Now, this is the uh, second method, which I've just shown you, um, which again, as you can see, it says you've set it to zero. If you, to disable this policy, the user setting for automatic migration is then turned off. Or if obviously you want to to be upgraded during the upgrade from 23 to 24 H2, uh, then obviously you can set that to one. But obviously you're probably here because you don't want to be upgraded to the new Outlook, which again, like many other users, including myself, don't want to be. Now, again, if we just scroll down just here, as you can see on the steps that Microsoft do actually mention, again, this is the method which I have just actually shown you. So as you can see, um, if you set it to zero, this is obviously to disable the automatic migration. And if you want to set it to one, that would then enable the automatic migration, which means that when you upgrade, you will then be forced to the new Outlook. It's crazy really that a lot of users have to do these kind of steps just to prevent Microsoft from forcing you onto software that you don't actually want to use. But, but here we are currently in 2025, and unfortunately, this is something which we do have to do, even as IT admins. Now just scrolling up further in the article you can see here it says block new Outlook pre-install on Windows and it says Windows 11. Windows 11 builds after 23H2 have the new Outlook app pre-installed for all users. Currently there isn't a way to block the new Outlook from being installed. If you prefer not to have the Outlook show up on your organization's devices you can remove it after it's installed as part of the update. And again, Microsoft has kindly given us some uh, PowerShell scripts that we can use here, commands even. Um, and again, you can also additionally use uh, using the registry editor and go and make some changes in there as well. But again, you might gonna have a read of this, guys. All the information, again, is actually on this Microsoft page. Again, there is obviously various different methods which may and may not work for you, but I have tried and tested this method on a couple of machines here and also on some of my clients that are looking at grading to 24H2. And again, this method has actually worked quite reasonably well without sort of too much interaction required. Now, something that Microsoft is actually doing is that they are sneakily uninstalling the old classic version of Outlook and then obviously forcing you onto the new version of Outlook. Now, something which they have done, which again, as someone on Reddit, which I came across a post, has actually posted about, is that you can actually still download the old classic version of Outlook, um, specifically through the Microsoft Store. I did try doing a search for it, but it doesn't come up, but I have actually got the direct link. And again, that link is also down in the description box down below. So we actually just go check out that link. It will then take you straight to this page here. So maybe if you just go to the search box at the bottom and you try searching for Outlook, I mean, as you can see on my system here, I have obviously Outlook Classic and also the Outlook New, but you might find that your Classic has suddenly disappeared. This is obviously if you have maybe updated to 24H2 already and obviously you can't do the previous steps. So what you would do is simply just go to that link and you can then click on download right here, click on download. And then as soon as that's downloaded, you'll then be able to just research for Outlook and you should then see the classic version of Outlook pop up in your search box and you should then be able to go and use that if obviously you want to switch back to that one. But I hope that's helped you guys out there. If it has, please smash that like button to get this video into the YouTube algorithm. Please also hit that subscribe button as well, guys, to help us continue to grow the channel. And also please leave your feedback and comments down in the description box down below. Let me know what you think about this. Is Microsoft really in the wrong for doing this? I personally think they are. I think it's just crazy how they're trying to force me onto software that they don't want. But I get obviously they need to retire old software, but why retire old software if it still works? But you can also check me out on social media as well by checking me out on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. And yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Until next time, I'll see you then. Bye for now.